Okay, so that was number four. I won't, I think I'm only gonna do like five questions today, unfortunately, just because the first one took so long. Um, how do you find the value of cotangent pi, pi over two? Is it, is it pi over two or just pi two? I wanna say it's pi over two here, but uh, let me just write down. I wanna find the value of cotangent pi two or two pi? Because then if, and maybe some formatting issue here, but because usually you would write cotangent two pi and not cotangent pi two, but they might have referred to pi over two. So actually what I'm gonna do is well, let's just solve for both and see which, which ones we get. So, so I'm gonna assume that this here is cot two pi or this would be pi over two here. So when we look at this here, cotangent two pi here, uh, what we can do to solve for the, these guys here is you have to use the trigonometric ratio. We can think, think of it as we're using the um, we're using the uh, the cast rule here. So let me just draw draw this out here, and we know that this is uh, the all. This is c. This is s, and this is t, right? So cotangent. You can also rewrite cotangent as. And remember, we know that this here is one. Uh, a cotangent here is simply just uh, one over tangent, right? So you can simply re rewrite this as one over tangent of two pi here. And we know that two pi here is this is here, right? Again, this here is zero and two pi. This here is pi over two. This is pi. And this here is three pi over two, right? So two, tangent two pi here, it, it belongs to here, right? It belongs here. So tangent of two pi, would be zero, right? Again, I don't have anything here. This here is uh, zero here. So which means one over zero here, tangent two, cotangent two pi, cotangent two pi would be one over zero here. And this is actually an undefined thing. So this here is undefined. So it equals one over tangent of two pi, which equals one over zero, which it equals undefined. So if the problem was asking what's cotangent of two pi, this would be undefined. However, if it was asking for uh, cotangent of pi over two, which is here, cotangent pi over two, then you can simply say that, you can again rewrite this as tangent or cotangent. Cotangent is one over tangent of pi over two. And again, wait, no, pi over two for tangent here is equal to one, right? So if it's equal equals one, and therefore the answer here is one. So I don't know what they're trying to do with this problem, but they wrote it here it was zero, and this solution here is actually incorrect because again, again, tangent of two pi here, tangent of two pi is zero, but cotangent of two pi here is one over our tangent here, which is um, which is uh, which is not uh, which is which is undefined because you can't divide anything by zero here, right? So let me just um, let me if I can let me show you a chart here. Um, of how of how how we know this here, so again, uh, cotangent is simply just one over tangent, right? The same with sine, it's cosecant here is one over sine, uh, cosine is co or secant here is one over cosine, and cotangent would be one over tangent here. They're just the uh, they're just the uh, you can think of them as the uh, reciprocal uh, reciprocal kind of um, trigonometric ratio here. So reciprocal. Tri like a tr like trigonometric ratios would be uh, would 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 be uh, would be there. So again, one over tangent would be again. If this could this answer could either be one or zero, depending on how they would how they were to um, how they were to format this solution. So this solution here is incorrect. So cotangent to pi equals undefined because. Uh, cotangent to pi would equal one over tangent to pi, which equals one over zero, which equals undefined. And then if it was cotangent pi over two, it would be equal to one because uh, then because one over tangent, or sorry, cotangent pi over two equals one over tangent pi over two, which equals one over one, which equals one. So the solution here is incorrect. And then 